Still no arrest in last night's shooting on Valambrosa Avenue in Chico that sent one man to the hospital. But we are learning more about what happened. Action News Now reporter Margot Rowe went back out to the scene today and spoke with the daughter of the victim. The Chico Police Detective Bureau is now investigating the shooting that happened late Tuesday night in front of this home off of Valambrosa that sent one man to the hospital with multiple gunshot wounds. On Wednesday, investigators revealed that the shooting stemmed from a fight involving a person related to the shooting victim. And I spoke with the victim's 18 year old daughter who tells me she was the person involved with the fight. Well, what if it was me? You never know. So, you know, I feel like he did what a father was supposed to do and, you know, protect his daughter. Estrella Mancia says she willingly participated in a physical fight with another woman outside her house. She says her dad was in the front yard watching the fight as it was happening. Mancia says she had the upper hand in the fight when the other woman's two male friends, who were also there, pulled out guns. That's when Mancia says her father stepped in to protect her and was shot multiple times. I kind of was more mad and I was more like scared. I was like, is he going to be OK? Is he not going to be OK? Mancia says there were about eight to nine shots fired with two bullets hitting her father in the abdomen. Mancia said her father is doing well after undergoing surgery. Well, he ended up going into surgery, but it was really fast, and now he's doing great. Um, so he's expected to be home tomorrow or Friday. We don't know yet. We're still waiting for the doctors, you know, to tell us if he's good or not. Chico police investigators are not releasing any more information at this point, but they are asking people with any information to contact them. Reporting in Chico, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Well, also, Mencia said that a bullet did go through one of the windows of the house, but no one else was injured in the shooting.